Hey, hey, all right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a little different, a little different. I haven't done a video like this in a while. It is uh, the day before Thanksgiving, actually. Today, I had a few hours to kill before sundown, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go rabbit hunt. I haven't done this year. This is my first rabbit hunt of 2020 or of the 2020 season, first rabbit hunt of the season. So, if you don't know, Nevada, the black tailed jackrabbit is like it's considered an unprotected species. No seasons, no limits, really no regulations whatsoever. Um, so I'm out here, spot that I've killed plenty of rabbits at before, and I'm gonna try and get my first rabbit of the year using using my Henry 22 long rifle lever action to try and get me a nice little black tail jackrabbit. Cottontail season is open as well, which I have uh, never shot a cottontail, and I would love to do that. Um, however, yeah, so first ever solo rabbit hunt too i've always been with a buddy my first ever solo rabbit hunt we're gonna see how that goes because usually there's i'm at hunt with at least one or two other people and we'll just push through an area and try to spook up rabbits and a lot of times i'll spook up a rabbit that the other person's shooting vice vice versa so it's gonna be interesting to see how just me hunting solo will be but i've got I've got a good hunch that there'll be plenty of rabbits to shoot regardless. And last time I came out hunting here, uh, there just wasn't the amount of rabbits that I thought there should have been. So I don't know if that was just because we've hunted them all out or because the weather was bad or whatever, but I think there's going to be rabbits. And regardless, even if we did shoot all the rabbits, most of the rabbits anyways, they multiply very quickly. So there'll be new rabbits to hunt anyways. But that's uh, the start of this video, first ever solo rabbit hunt for black-tailed jackrabbits here in northern Nevada. I'm gonna put you guys on my head and we're gonna go shoot some jackrabbits. Let's do it. It's rather cold out, so gotta keep moving. <laughs> Looking on the ground here, there's lots of rabbit tracks all through here, all through this brush. So, a lot of dried up rabbit poop as well. So, they're in here. Coyote turd. Coyote, so I can shoot. Right there. I wasn't ready. Where'd he go? Oh, my heart's pumping. <laughs> that was cool didn't get a shot I had my gun like this and it's like I'm just talking to you guys oh you can shoot coyotes no duh Robbie oh he went right behind that bush I couldn't see him he ran into here somewhere Oh man, I moved to an open spot. I saw him to my left, pulled my gun up, moved to a spot where I think he'd be, where he's gonna run through. And he went to the one spot that was covered by a bush. Wouldn't have been able to shoot. There's a hundred different ways he could have gone. He could be in the next county by now anyways. So I'm gonna do what I was doing. Ah, that was so close too. That was I was way closer. This stuff is hard to hunt in, especially with the 22. Just so thick. Like if a rabbit jumped out right there, I'd have about 2.6 seconds before he's gone for me to pull my gun up, safety off, right there. What was I telling you? 2.6 seconds. 
think he's in here somewhere. I missed him. Okay. What? Oh my god, he's juking me out. How did I miss him? That was really bad on my part. <laughs> I just got juked out by a jackrabbit. <laughs> I saw him again, just standing in the bush. Put my, <laughs> put my freaking gut, I aimed at him, shot and missed. I think I shot right over him. He didn't move, so I'm like, oh, maybe I shot him in the head. But no, he didn't move. And then pew, ran this way. So I know this area is a lot open, a lot more open. So I thought, okay, if I just get over here, I'll see him. And then I get over to an open spot. There he is, and he goes the other way. <laughs> and so then I go back. Oh my God, that was pathetic. I should be embarrassed. Hello and welcome back. It's a few weeks later and I am back at the same spot about to do some rabbit hunting. If you can tell, there's some there's some snow on the ground. So it's going to be a little different, but I'm still out by myself. I'm still out by myself this time. And uh, right, right in here, I saw tons of rabbit tracks. So they're in here and uh, they're, I don't know if they're going to be in the snow or in the hillsides that are kind of melted or whatnot, but I'm just going to go walk through. Hopefully shoot me a jackrabbit or two this time i'm gonna be doing a little bit differently last time i was using my 22 and uh, today i'm gonna be using my 20 gauge i think it all depends sometimes they're out further and i need a 22 sometimes they won't flush until they're right under your nose so last time i think a shotgun would have been more effective so i'm gonna go try the shotgun if that shot if the shotgun doesn't work then i can come back grab my 22 and use that but um other than that it's a snowy day and uh yeah, I'm gonna go get some jackrabbits. I've only got a couple hours to hunt. It's nine o'clock right now, so y'all stay tuned. Brought the Suburban up here, and uh, yeah, let's go find a jackrabbit. As y'all can see right here, just on this little opening, this little old road, there's a whole bunch of rabbit tracks just everywhere, so they're in here, and they're in here thick, I think. For those of you interested, this is my Remington 870 20 gauge shotgun. It's a youth model. I've had it forever since I was a little kid. And uh, it is small for me, but I do think that hunting small game like this, it's perfect because it's a 20 gauge. I don't need a long barrel. And so when I pull my gun up, I can swing the barrel easier. Um, and chase and lead those rabbits and rabbits, squirrels, quail, whatever I hunt with it, a little better. He just barely hopped through and by the time I got on and he was behind a bush. Get out of there, son of a I missed him. My gun jammed. God dang. I saw him again up here. <sighs> Got a feeling he went over. <sighs> I'm gonna check these trees, make sure he isn't in here. <sighs> there he is. <sighs> oh, he's booking it. Where is he going? <sighs> well, that one got away. 
when I shot, he scared me. I did not think there was gonna be a rabbit right where I was. Cause I had just taken down, sat down a minute for a break. And it was like 10 yards behind me where he jumped out. So I had no anticipation of there being a rabbit there. By the time I got my gun up, missed. I probably could have gotten a second shot if, it, if my gun wouldn't have jammed. Shot through the bushes on that one. Don't think I got him. Holy sh Got that one. There we go. <laughs> I saw fur fly. Oh yeah. Oh, woo! Finally, there's where he was. You can see my shot pattern. There's fur of the fly. There he is. Woo! I got one. <laughs> yes. Oh, he scared me. <laughs> Rabbit hunting in the snow, baby. There we go. Blacktail jackrabbit. Finally got me a rabbit while out here on this solo rabbit hunt. Blacktail jackrabbits are an unprotected species. No limit, no season, basically no regulations on them at all. Um, they're overpopulated and um, yeah, I've seen, that was what, my fifth one? I think I've seen today, yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, yeah, five. Problem, my feet are sucking wet from this snow melting in my through my boots. So I'm just gonna do one loop back around and then probably call it quits for the day, but there's still hopes for me to get, but maybe one more rabbit. So let's see if we can do it. Oh. 